Okay, let's uh, let's see some uh, demonstration. Uh, so let, I'll start my uh, usual uh, start. and then change to my home directory. <laughs> on desktop scala scala this is the directory where i have some sample example files okay so so today i'm uh, using again the prompt scala prompt i to demonstrate that first thing we would like to see how to implement uh, our maximum function maximum function so I write a definition of this maximum function. Let's take max. It take uh, two inputs for integer x and integer y. Integer x and integer y. So then after that, I need to type the return type. So I want to return it integer. So this is optional. So I omit the return type. So I have to return the largest uh, value out of this x and y. Yes, so that I use a uh, match case. So what I first need to try, uh, type the expression. The expression I'm going to match is whether x greater than no one. So I match that with different cases. So I type that line and press enter. So if I write a a uh, function in multiple lines at the scala form after i type part of that the scala shows this character and ask me to complete the rest of the line okay rest of the line is my cases my first case is whether this value x greater than or y equal uh, equal to two right so whether that is equal to true. If it is equal to true, so I have to return the first value because that is the maximum. So I check whether the first case is equal to true. I transform that output and return uh, the first value that is I our x. Then I check whether that is false, then it transform to y and finally i close that curly bracket that complete my maximum function so i can now call this maximum function with two values like that so you see sorry i misspelled maximum function you see it returns four so when i type like 13 so the 13 is the maximum right let's say we want to implement a function this password function which returns whether uh, the uh, uh, marks uh, based on the marks whether this student is passing away this function uh, beside that so i write this function let's say define maybe i call this function as pass uh, take uh, marks as uh, the input my return type is a string so it may automatically decide my return type. So what I would like to then try uh, whether that marks uh, greater than 50 the student should be passed otherwise it's fair. So my uh, then expression logical expression here is marks greater than or equal 50. That expression will match to different cases. So first case is the greater than is equal to true. This is, this is, this is actually a logical expression or Boolean expression. It has only two cases, two or false. First one is true. Then my output is a string I want to return saying false. So maybe all other things I can write like that, or I can write false here. Or I can write like underscore that means all other 
all other situations I say pay. Yeah, like that. And then I close that function. So then I have pass function. So I can call this pass function with some mouse, like that. So it returns a string called pay. So then I call the same function with maybe uh, uh, 67 marks. So it returns pass. So it's how we use match case and uh, determine whether the student is pass or pay. Similarly, can you write a function to determine whether the uh, given integer is given number or not? So we can write the function very easily. So I name this function as is given. We take the uh, integer value in as input and returns to a false, right? So then what the thing I going to match is actually uh, my, my matching expression is basically with the x modular two equal to zero. That is the thing that I'm going to match. If that is match two true, uh, sorry, if modular uh, two, I can write like if modular two equal to zero, or I can write only or if modular two. Maybe I do, uh, I, I break it for the moment. Sorry, I start writing now. Uh, I, I, I define, I only, so so far we discussed, uh, I put the expression Boolean expression. Not only the Boolean expression, we can put any expression for the match ex as match expression. So instead of Boolean expression, I'll use uh, a typical expression uh, there. So then, uh, sorry, you can understand uh, how it works. So that my scala count, uh, so I define a function called is even. We take x as the input, x as the input, and my output I use uh, uh, true or false in case of even number is returned true, otherwise it's returned false. So what I'm going to match in this situation is x modular two. So I can match if for if you like, as I said, x modular two equals zero as well. But not only the Boolean expressions, I can use other any other regular expressions here. And it's not regular, it's any other expression here. So the expression I'm going to use here, match expression is x modular two. So that is match uh, to different cases. If S x modular two is zero, then that is transformed uh, to true because then because it is uh, even number. Any other situations, this underscore represent any other. I return false. So that is close of this. Uh, I return. I misspell the false, so I start the back, and then I say if case this is true, if case is any other case, it's false. False, and then close. So this is return a Boolean value. So I check is even, it may be number four, it should return true. I check it with number maybe nine, it should return false. So that's how my is even function works. Similarly, uh, I can uh, write a function to check the uh, given year is a leap year or not. Uh, so let's write a function for that. I define a function for uh, leap year that should return true in case of leap year, otherwise it should return false. So I uh, uh, take the input for year that is integer. And my return value is Boolean. You can try Boolean or you can omit that. 
So my car, so then I can have uh, a different kind of uh, conditions or different uh, kind of things, uh, uh, cases to be checked. So what are the cases I would like to uh, check is something like that. I say, let's try. Uh, I say uh, here, here, uh, module four. equal to zero and I join it with the another logical expression that is here module hundred not equal zero. So this is the first condition to check whether the uh, given here is an if then the other condition which we need to check is actually O. So I type O. The next one is whether the given year modular 400 is equal to zero. These are the, it's a long uh, logical expression. So I match that. It's two cases. Since it is a logical expression, we have two cases. One is uh, true, other one is false. So, so I say true. If that is true, I say leap year. Maybe leap year. I can return a Boolean value if I want here, but I say, just say leap year. And other case, that is the case of false, I have it here. Um, I return like it is it is basically not an if it's I say maybe it's a common like that. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Sorry I made a mistake. So here it should be in like that, then I check whether this is true, then I check whether this is common. By the way, you can use the previously typed statement using arrow keys. Right. So my leap year function is ready. So then I call this leap year is 2000. It tell me 2000 is a leap year. Maybe 2001 it is a common year. So maybe I can print that because it print return a string. So I use perhaps printf and put uh, this and say like that. This maybe I use here d is and then here I use S. And hit that and then I put here. Uh, maybe like I say uh, 2000. And I call leap here. Something like that. So I have to put one more bracket. Right? Say so 2000 is an if So maybe I can define a variable called uh, here. This integer. Integer. So and then for this printer function using maybe like the ear here. So then 
L of 2001 will be passed to this function and this printf as well. So when I, when I executed it, it said 2001 is common near. So that's how uh, we could use match case. Uh, so, so far in all match case statements, we only had two cases. So if, let's see what happens if we have more than two cases with pattern, pattern guards. So there, I use this sign function. So I define a function for sign, which take x as input, uh, return type I omit, and then I want to match these x values different cases with pattern. So I say if case x, so this x value will assign to the case x, and I can give a condition. If the case x is, if x greater than zero, that is my first case. So I say in that situation, returns me a one. Then I define another case, case x, if x equal to be zero, then I say transform that output to zero, return zero. Then I define my third case if of x. So if that is x uh, less than to zero, then I transform it to minus one. So there are then three cases. So then I can call sign it may be Well, so it returns one, maybe sign with zero, return zero, correct, maybe sign with minus two, it returns minus one. So you see, this part is called pattern graphs. So x is the variable which parts to the pass to the match, and then we take the case x. So we take the x and then we put the pattern we want to match. So if that get match, so we say return that value. So that's how pattern guard works with the match case statements. Similarly, our pass functions, we can extend to return a grade, different grade of the student. So I define the function for maybe grade uh, that, that marks will be input to that grade function, and it might return A, B, C of A, assume that. So then we say here, it marks match. And we can uh, do a pattern for that. We, we can say it's case X. If x greater than or equal 80. So that transform uh, to maybe grade a. Then I write another function, case x may be greater than or equal to 60. Then we can return b. Then we say, is greater than or equal to 50. So we return C. So we say any other cases, any other cases like that. So there are no pattern guard requirements. Any other cases, we return F. Hey. So these are the my cases. So it has more than one cases. So this marks will be matches. And that means value of that due to this x. So then we say if that x match this condition, do this. Match this condition, do that, and so on. Any other, do this. So that my max function or grade function. So I call grade with hundred. Gives me uh, a sixty-five. Gives me a b. 55 gives me 
uh, C and maybe 40 will be A. You see, it's worse. Right? So that's how the migrate function works. Similarly, assume we want to implement a function uh, where to calculate interest values. So we can use uh, uh, case, uh, match case function to uh, do that. So maybe we want to uh, write a function to return interest value. So I define a function for interest. Interest. I, I will do it with the two, two, two functions. So in the my slide said it with the one function, but maybe it's better we do it with the two functions. The first one will return perhaps interest rate. So I write a function called rate. Rate decide on the amount. Amount is a double. It returns a double based on the amount. Amount, so I say amount match for different cases. In case X, if that amount is match, I say if it is a uh, kind of uh, 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 X is maybe um, uh, let's say uh, greater than. Um, thousand if that x value is greater than hundred thousand uh, let's say interest rate is uh, 0.15 15 percent so then we can say x value is thousand interest rate is maybe ten percent so we say x value is maybe thousand interest rate is five percent like that right so then we say any other case uh, interest value is uh, 0.01 or something like that this is rate function so let's enter maybe like 1005 it returns I entered 10,005, you see, number 10,005, it returns what? 0 0.1. So then I entered maybe 100,005, it returns 1.5 in this case. Maybe 1,005 return 0.5. So maybe 105 0.5 default case so different rates so then maybe I write another function to calculate interest interest take amount double value double value is equal so what I want to return is the interest interest is equal amount amount station amount multiplying rate rate function should take the amount as interest so I need still a double Double low and right? This is my interest. So I take interest then, type maybe thousand. One is my deposit value. I N T E R E S T I N T E R E S T interest. So interest 
value is for 10,000 one is 1,001. So you see? So how these two functions combine here? So my interest function is look like here, right? Similarly, we can write a function to calculate take home salary based on the pay. So for that, I can define several functions. So in the first function I define, maybe a tax function. A tax function take uh, uh, payment, my pay value, that is double. Uh, based on this pay, different taxes. So I use match case. So pay is matched to different values. In first case, if x, if x uh, greater than, let's say, 1,000 to 100,000, uh, then my tax value is, say, multiply 0 0.15. Let's say 1, 5. So in the second case, let's say my A is less than 1,000, 10% tax. So in the third case, I say if this, then 0.5% tax. So any other cases, let's see. Uh, point maybe uh, uh, no tax, so it returns maybe zero. There are no tax, so this is my tax function. Let's say I have a hundred rupee income, so my tax is zero. So if I have ten thousand income, uh, my tax is still zero. If ten thousand one. My tax is 500 rupees, like that. Let's say I am charging the tax using such simple formula. So then, if someone wants to calculate take home salary, as we discussed, first of all, we need to get tax, and then we need to reduce it from the income. So I can define a function uh, to maybe to first calculate income 